In last week's video, we created our very first fictional character in Midjourney. We named her Carla Caruso and decided to give her bright red hair in a braided bun hairstyle and a gray leather jacket. We also created portrait shots of Carla in different locations. We dressed her up according to movie themes and we also changed the style of the image. In today's video, we're going to take things one step further. I will show you how to create cinematic scenes, position Carla in locations, change camera angles, put her entire body on display, place her on top of objects, and even create action scenes. If you want to learn how to do all that and more, make sure you stick around. Welcome back, everyone. So first of all, let's make sure we're all on the same page. In part one of this series, we created our fictional character called Carla Caruso. We created Carla using version 4 of the Midjourney algorithm. And here's the prompt we used. Carla Caruso, beautiful woman, braided bun hair, bright red hair, wearing a leather jacket in gray color, and we added the seed. We then decided to use the top left image out of this set of four and upscaled the image. The seed of the upscaled version of this image is 34727469910. And this is what we will continue to use throughout the entirety of this video. So let's start off by simplifying this prompt a little bit. I'm going to merge the braided bun hair and the bright red hair into one. And the prompt will look a little bit like this. Imagine Carla Caruso, beautiful woman, bright red braided bun hair, wearing a leather jacket in gray color. And this time we're going to add the seed that I just announced to you earlier. So as you can see, this is still the same Carla Caruso. The only difference is that we've added the seed that we announced earlier. Now, even though we've been using Carla's name in every single prompt so far, we don't actually need it anymore as soon as we start creating bigger scenes. The facial expressions of your characters become less and less important if you're not creating portrait shots. Personally, I also do not like the fact that the gray color of the leather jacket is bleeding into her hair, especially in the bottom left case. So let's try to fix this. I'm going to enter a new prompt that reads, Beautiful woman, bright red braided bun hair, wearing a leather jacket in gray color, only red hair, and in the style of a Marvel comic book. And then I'll add our seed and we'll hopefully get back the image that we originally created last time. So this looks much better already. And Carla now has that Marvel comic style that we gave her in our last video. Next, we're going to try to position Carla on top of a skyscraper and also change the aspect ratio of the image in order to get a more cinematic look. In order to do that, I'm going to add standing on the edge of a skyscraper to the end of the prompt. And I'm also going to add the aspect ratio parameter with a ratio of three to two. So this is what the prompt looked like. Imagine beautiful woman, bright red, bun, bright red braided bun hair, wearing a leather jacket in gray color, only red hair in the style of a Marvel comic book, standing on the edge of a skyscraper, dash dash, AR for aspect ratio, three to two, and the seed that we've been using so far. Okay, so even though I really like these shots, they're still too close to Carla's body for my taste. I actually want something that's a lot more zoomed out. So let's add wide angle shot and full body image to the prompt. And our prompt will look a little bit like this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image, then the entire rest of our previous prompt, including the parameters, and let's have a look. Okay, so this is actually really good already. However, you may have noticed that the style keeps changing from one prompt to another, and you might think that this is actually a problem. But don't worry, because in part three of this series, I'm going to show you why this doesn't really matter and how you can fix this issue. Now, as much as I like this image, what still bothers me about it is that I actually want to have Carla's full body, including her feet. So let's zoom out even further by adding feet on edge of building to the prompt. Your prompt would then look a little bit like this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image, the entirety of our prompt, except that we've added feet on edge of building at the very end. Let's take a look. The reason why this works is because we specifically mentioned her feet in the prompt. Midjourney then tries to translate this into an image and is forced to actually take the feet into account. Now using this setup, we can also change the angle of the shot. I'm going to replace wide angle shot, full body image with aerial shot from above. And here's what your prompt will look like. Imagine aerial shot angle from above and then the rest of your prompt as before. And what we get is a set of images with Carla standing on top of a skyscraper, mostly looking 
up at the camera, but I actually want her to look down onto the city. So let's make a slight adjustment to the prompt, replacing beautiful woman with beautiful woman looking down. And here's the prompt. Imagine still the entirety of your earlier prompt, except that we've replaced beautiful woman with beautiful woman looking down. Now, this is still not perfect, especially because we still have the one on the top right, but the other images are a lot closer to what I actually had in mind. Now, the problem here is that if you keep using the same seed with the same type of prompt and concept, you're always going to get more or less the same type of images. If you want to mix things up a little bit, then it's absolutely okay to re-roll the prompt, even if it's going to use different seed. The importance is that you get the type of composition that you want. Your main objective is to create a certain type of scene, so do not worry about alterations to the facial features right now. Next, let's try something very different and place Carla on top of a horse. We're going to add riding a galloping black horse to the prompt. And your prompt will look a little bit like this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image. So we're going back to the original angle shot that we wanted. And we're going to add riding a galloping black horse at the very end of the prompt. And we've also removed the reference to beautiful woman looking down. Okay, so this is already pretty nice. However, we're missing a background. So let's add some color to our description by adding across the horizon of a lush green valley. And our prompt will look a little bit like this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image, the entire prompt as we had before, except that now the end says riding a galloping black horse across the horizon of a lush green valley. So this one's pretty good and it shows how important it is that you add more details to your prompts. In this image, we're still using the Marvel comic book style that we defined in the prompt earlier. So next, let's not just change the scenery and the scene, but also the style of the image. I'm going to give Carla a Indiana Jones look, and I'm going to let her run through a temple with a fire torch in her hand. Here's our prompt. Imagine beautiful woman, bright bright bun hair as before, except that we're now replacing the Marvel comic book style with the in the style of a Indiana Jones comic book, and then the action running through an ancient temple holding a torch fire in hand. So these are some really great close-up shots, except that I actually had something completely different in mind. So I'm going to try to use a different camera angle and add wide angle shot, full body image once more. And my prompt will look like this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image, and the entirety of the previous prompt. And this time, Carla is still running through the temple, except that this time we also have a much more zoomed out image so that we can actually see that she's running through the temple. And you can use the exact same logic to place Carla into pretty much any scene or location that you like. In fact, let's try to place her in Neo Tokyo and give her a Blade Runner style. Here's what the prompt would look like. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image. So we're sticking to that angle and I'm going to change the style to Blade Runner comic book. And the action that she's going to be doing at the end is walking through an alley of, a, of the red light district of Neo Tokyo and a man escorting a woman. Not bad, is it? So the, this actually looks pretty good. The only thing that we might have to tweak going forward is sort of the positioning of other characters next to her. But these are details that obviously need more trial and error. But let's skip forward to an entirely new scene one more time. Let's say we wanted to create a army-themed comic book. Well, why not have Carla stand next to an army tank? Let's try that. My prompt will look like this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image, the entire prompt as before, except that we're going to change the style to in the style of military comic book, and then posing next to an army tank. So this is what that image would look like. But maybe you don't actually want her to stand next to the tank. Maybe you want her to sit on top of the tank. Well, we can do that as well. All we need to do is change our prompt just a tiny bit and it will look like this. Imagine, again, the rest of the prompt is the same except that we're going to say she's sitting on top of an army tank. And as you can see, you can do pretty much anything you want. Now you might be arguing that these are all pretty much still shots and you'd rather see Carla in action. Well, no problem. We'll just place her in a battlefield and see how that looks. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image, the rest of the prompt and in the end, we're going to add running across the battlefield while aiming and shooting a gun at a target. And just as expected, we get action-packed scenery. As you can see, some of these angles are absolutely perfect for comic books. 
And even though we've only been placing Carla in these scenes, with a little bit more practice, you can actually start to add other characters as well. The great thing about this is that it's actually quite important if you want to build a proper story in a comic book. You cannot just have one character always showing up. You actually need to place her or him in different situations where they might be interacting with other people. So let me give you an example of this. Imagine wide angle shot, full body image. And again, we're using the exact same prompt as before, except that we're going to add army base in background and then having a conversation with a general. And lo and behold, here she is, Carla standing on a army base and she's talking to a person who might be a general or who may not. That really depends. You may have to fine tune a little bit. Now, at this stage, we still do not have full control over what the second character actually looks like. And that's something that's a little bit more complex and not as reliable as what we've been doing so far. But you may have also noticed another thing. Remember the set of images with Carla sitting on top of a tank? Not all of these images are actually using the same style and her outfit keeps changing on every single one of them. So what if we wanted to make sure that she actually looks the same in every single one of these images? Now you could try to fix this by changing the content of your prompt. However, this would actually be pretty difficult to do. Or you could simply do some magic and the images would start to look like this. Now she's wearing the same hairstyle, the same tank top, the same jacket, and more or less even the same pants. If you'd like to know how this is done, make sure you check out part 3 of this character design series, which will be released in the next couple of days. Once it's released, you'll find it right here in the corner of the screen. If you missed part 1 of this series, you should definitely go back and check out that video as well. And if you're enjoying this series overall, why not check out the entire playlist right here. Keep on learning guys and take care.